Hey everyone, today I'm going to be going over how to spawn clones better in Scratch. So let's hop right into it. Don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing. But anyway, let's get coding. Alrighty, so I've set up a little example of why you'd want to use it. So what I want to happen is when I broadcast this create two clones, at the exact same time, a clone will pop up here and pop up here. So the logical thing would be in sprite 1, when I receive create two clone, set this variable to negative 150, so that's the x position, and then create a clone. And in the clone, we just have it going to that x position. In the number 2 sprite, we have it setting its x position to 150, so that's the opposite side of the screen, and then same exact clone script. But as you can see here, if I go ahead and broadcast create two clones, you can see that they are both over on this side. They get layered on top of each other. And this is very frustrating because there's a lot of time that you want to spawn multiple clones at the same time and at different positions or with different values. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this to work. So we're going to replace that bugginess to look something like that. Now the reason that this doesn't work is when you broadcast it, they both try to set the position at the same time. So it ends up just picking one of them, which ends up being 150, and then it'll just do that one instead. So that's why they end up going over to the right. And this gets even worse if you have more and more clones instead of just two. So hopefully that example makes sense, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this sprite. I'm going to just name this cat. So here's what we need to do to make this work. So first of all, you can go ahead and get rid of this x position variable and make a new variable for the sprite only called x position and let's also go ahead and make one called y position and now click ok now when i start as a clone change this to a go to x and y and for now let's go ahead and get rid of that add a wind green flag clicked forever make a new block called create clone now run without screen refresh right here run that create clones in the forever loop so right here is where it's going to create all of the clones needed so to do this we just want to make a list that matches these two values here so right now we're just doing a simple x and y so let's go ahead and make a list for all sprites called x position and then a list for all sprites called y position so now we have a list to store both of these values go ahead and repeat until the length of x pause is zero set the x position to the item length of x pause of x pause so that'll set the x position to the very last item in the list duplicate that and set the y position to item length of y position of y position create a clone of myself and now go ahead and delete one of x pause and change this to length of x pause of x pause and then delete length of y pause of y pause so that'll clear out that item in the list and now for lag purposes let's go ahead and check if the length of x pause is greater than zero right here so that way it will only run if it's greater than zero and now if we go ahead and test this out all we need to do to create a clone is add a x and y position to the x and y list so let's add zero zero to x and y and as you can see instantly a clone pops up in the middle of the screen and we can keep on clicking that over and over and now we can go ahead and duplicate this and maybe make it go to 150 negative 50 I don't know and now if we click this you can see that instantly two clones appear and there's no delay or anything like that now let's go ahead and go back to the example we had earlier rename this cat to clone spawner duplicate this delete the 27 blocks when I receive create two clones add negative 150 to x pause 0 to y pause rename name this to clone one duplicate this change this to maybe 150 so now we have essentially the same exact thing so that is how you are going to create a clone is just by adding those two so now you can see that if we start this game and broadcast create two clones here we go it will instantly create the two clones at the different positions like we want to originally so you can have hundreds and hundreds of different clones spawning say bullets at the same exact time and it will always work and that's the method i used in my space shooter to get all the different clones to shoot bullets bullets at the same exact time. And of course, you can add as many lists as you want. Maybe we want the clones to be able to store a certain costume. You would just need to make a new list that's costume and a new variable that's costume and then just duplicate these scripts from above. So it's also very easily expandable. I do want to give a huge shout out to Rock Coder. I was looking through project and if you go into bomb sprite, you can see right here this kind of script right here. It looks pretty similar to my script. I just kind of slightly modified it to make it a little bit more generic, but I want to give a huge shout out because rock coder gave me the idea for this video the link to rock coders project will be in the description below thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing but anyway this has been owen and i am out